The Gospel for Mass today is one of my favorites, the story of the Gerasene demoniac from Mark chapter 5. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki. You know, I find Mark's descriptions in the Gospel so vivid and so easy to imagine. In this story, we have Jesus having just crossed the Sea of Galilee, and upon disembarking, a, a man possessed by many devils rushes up to him. He has been living among the tombs in that area and could be described as one of the living dead. He beat himself mercilessly with stones. You see, that's the way the evil works. God isn't our enemy. The devil is, and he will do everything he can to keep us chained and living in a culture of death and beating ourselves up. Yes, we all battle temptation and sin. Jesus himself, as we hear in the Gospels, was tempted and battled the sin that was all around him. We tend to get discouraged and give up when we're in the battle. And then, after we fall, what happens? We beat ourselves up like the man in today's Gospel. Archbishop Fulton Sheen used to say that when we're tempted, the evil spirit encourages us to sin, and the good spirit discourages us, tries to dissuade us from sin. And then, after we fall, those roles are reversed. The devil discourages us and is only too happy to hand us a stone to beat ourselves with, while the Good Spirit encourages us not to give up, but to go to confession and to start over again. We're created for life, and Jesus came to free us from sin and death, to lead the way to eternal life. We get sidetracked or fall by the wayside for a while, but we must never give up 